Can we biblically calculate the age of the earth? What does secular science say? Joining me for this conversation, I brought in a guest and friend, Paul Taylor. Let's find out more right now on Wonders Without Number. When you're dealing with the millions of years of things in uh, Earth history that they like to talk about, what they're actually looking for is some sort of physical process. It could be a chemical process, but it's usually a physical process, which is changing. Okay. So you can measure how fast it's changing. You can okay. measure the rate at which it changes, and uh, you can look. Uh, you can take measurements of things today using that. Um, rate of change then you can extrapolate back and that gives them a calculation. A lot of people think that they've measured the date or something, they haven't, they've done it by a calculation. They have done perfectly legitimate measurements here. Okay. But they've extrapolated it back. Interesting, and you're talking about things like radiometric data. Exactly, but there are one or two others as well. One of the interesting things is of course that uh, if you take all the possible um, physical changes and chemical changes that could take place, probably uh, something like about 90% of those uh, uh, rates that you would do deal with, those calculations, would not give an age sufficient for the evolution of life. They would not give uh, those billions of years that we're talking about. Okay. Now that's not to say that they're giving you a biblical age, they're yeah. not. They're giving you limiting ages. Mm -hmm. 